whatever your kids are into, it doesn't matter if people think that they shouldn't be because of their gender, just try to support them. You're listening to Femcanic Garage, the podcast that features women in the automotive and motorsports industries. A community that elevates, empowers, and evolves by smashing stereotypes and breaking down barriers for women. I'm your host, Jamie Blossman. Buckle up for the ride, Femcanics. Mimai Canary is in the driver's seat today. Mimai is a seven-year-old car enthusiast who is no stranger to the world of cars. She hosts her own YouTube channel where she reviews cars and enthusiastically shares her experiences at car shows. But that's not all. With her parents' guidance, Mima even drives her very own 1986 Dodge Shelby Charger, I might add with a manual transmission, on their own private property. Now let's sit back and enjoy the energy and love Mimai has for this industry. Hello, Femcanics. This is Jamie B. coming to you, and I have Nimai Canary in the hot seat today. But those of you who are listening in your car or if you're working on your ride or just at work listening to this and maybe just on a drive, what you don't know about Nimai is that she is seven and a half years old. And I was blessed enough to have both of her parents and Nimai come to the Women's Motor Fest in 2022, which is super exciting. And she holds the only, first and only and forever, the number, the very first number one Women's Motor Fest membership. She is one of one. And there will only ever be one. And that is something that she'll be able to hold. So, Nimai, mom, dad, I'm going, thank you for joining me on the uh, Femcanic Garage podcast. I'm glad you are. On here. How are you guys doing today? Good. Good. So, mom, dad, I'm going to actually pick your brain first to give a little bit of background for our listeners. And then we're going to jump over and let Nimai steal the show like she did at Women's Motor Fest as well. But mom, dad, the, the million dollar question, she's seven and a half years old. You know, it's super young. And what a lot of people ask and wonder, are you guys gearheads? Do you work on cars? And then she just kind of tagged along with mom and dad working on cars. Is that your story? No. That is not our story. I don't know anything about cars. I have never had that kind of a brain. And all of my cars have always been like the cheapest thing that would run that I could find. Um, And I still, she tries to teach me about cars, but my brain just doesn't really comprehend. I can't remember any of the information she gives me. Um, And John is not really into cars either. I mean, he's learned recently to work on some cars out of necessity from watching YouTube videos, but I never heard him utter a thing about a car <laughs> until we had her and she just all of a sudden, um, around age three, I think she was making these weird noises and I thought she was getting sick. She was like, <clears throat> and so I was like kind of keeping an eye on her to see if she was maybe not feeling well. And, um, I realized that she was making noises to pretend to start one of her cars, like a <laughs> Fisher Price car that you sit in and she was turning the key and <clears throat> like it was trying to start. And I remember thinking at the time, that's weird. I wonder where she got that from. Cause we had a few car toys, but not anything like uh, a lot of kids do. And, and it just, the obsession grew from there. I, I love that story. That is probably one of my all time favorite stories because it's, a lot of people think automatically that a child is interested in cars because that's what their parents do, whether it's as a profession or just for fun. And that's what makes this story so neat. And just to give a, a, a little background, what do you guys do as a as your day job or as a profession? Um, we... Uh, we run a paintball park on our property. Um, we do a million other things, but my... Uh, main source of income is I'm a paramedic, um, so I do ambulance stuff. But like I said, we also 
Uh, we built a paintball park on our property that does paintball and laser tag and stuff like that because we live down in Appalachia, Ohio. Um, and then we homeschool. We also run a nonprofit animal sanctuary. Um, so we do a bajillion other things than none of them have anything to do with cars. <laughs> so. The thing that I love the most is that you guys um, actually found me through Women's Motor Fest. And we were having a show in Columbus, Ohio. And John, I think it might have been you. I, I can't remember. One of you reached out and asked some questions about it. But when I started to learn more about your story, I'm like, boy, if if we could give out parent awards, you guys would definitely get a parent award here because not all parents have supported their children the way that you support Nimai around this, what traditionally people say is a, a boy's interest, right? And you didn't just encourage her. She does reviews on YouTube. So I, I hopped on. You, you sent me the stuff. And I'm like, oh, my God, this is amazing. And then you you asked, like, hey, can we drop some flyers to promote it and for women's motor? I said, yes, absolutely, um, which I love promoting women and little girls in any way that we can to cultivate that. But you... Did you have that that dodge before Nimai, or did that kind of spark the the inter more of an interest around that? We did not have the car before her. We got it for her. Um, we had been kicking around the idea of getting her a car because she likes cars so much and she wants to learn to drive. And um, I look on Facebook Marketplace a lot for just random things and. I saw that car near here and I didn't know that it was special. I just thought it looked weird and old and cool. So I showed it to John and then once Nimai saw it, she had to go see it in person. Um, do you want to tell the story of how we got the car? Yeah. Okay. So we went to go see it and this man uh, had had it for not very long. His uncle was the first owner and his uncle had passed away and he had too many projects and, you know, needed to find a new home for it. And he ended up giving it to us for half of the asking price because he was like so excited about Nimai and how much she loved the car. So then we got home and we just decided to put her name on the license plate. And I mean, it's her car. And then we ask her if she wants to take it to shows. And sometimes she drives it around our field. That is awesome. <laughs> so Nimai, let, let's talk about your car here. What kind of car is it, Nimai? It's a 1986 Dodge Shelly Charger. What's your favorite part about it? Everything. I don't have a favorite part. I just like everything about it. Everything about it. Now, one thing that I find interesting about it is that it's a manual transmission. Right. Which is pretty cool. And there's this ongoing joke among Generation X <laughs> people <laughs> around built-in security on a car for the younger generations. And that is if you buy a car that is manual transmission, there's a high probability that the younger generation has no idea how to drive it. And here you are at seven and a half in a big field, tinkering around learning how to drive a manual transmission. Do you know how special that is? Yeah. <laughs> good, good. Yeah. What She's kind of from, engine does that have in it? It has a 2.2 liter four cylinder turbo. Um, it you it originally had 147 horsepower, but there's a boost controller on it. Like the guy who we bought it off of um, put a boost boost controller on it, so now it has like 160 to 170 horsepower. Ooh. So, do you like more horsepower? Well, I don't know. Not sure yet. And I think that's a fair answer because you haven't had a chance to really uh, drive yet, considering you're seven and a half. So, you know, getting it on a track or on a road and opening it up, <laughs> it's, it's going to be a little bit of time until, until that happens. 
So what's your vision for the car? What do you hope to do with the car? Um, drive it. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't want to like modify it or anything. I just want to keep it like how it is because I like stock cars nice. more than mo more than modified cars. Now, what, why do you like stock cars more so than modified? Because, like, you get, like, the actual 0 to 60 times if it's not modified, the actual car. And I just like stock cars better than modified cars. You, you like the way it came off the, the floor then? Right from the yeah. factory, you like it just you like it just the way it is without any manipulation to it. I I love it. So I want to talk a little bit about your YouTube channel where you re re review cars, Nimai. But before I pick your brain, Nimai, I want to talk a little bit to mom and dad about um what kind of got you to the point where it's like, huh. What do you think about putting together a YouTube channel for Nimai and doing reviews? How did that come about and what was kind of your, your guys' conversation? It was actually her idea because she watches Doug DeMuro review cars on YouTube and she wanted to do what he was doing. And um, she took her iPad out to our car one day and she was like, I'm going to make a video. And I was just like, okay, whatever. And then I watched it later and she was she was like going over all the quirks and features of our Nissan and just you know acting like this was like the most special car ever and every little detail she was talking about and um she did that a couple times made a couple videos on her own and then she said she wanted to have a YouTube channel like Doug so I think that Doug DeMuro was her inspiration for her YouTube channel <laughs> mom dad what do you hope for I just want her to be happy and just keep learning and enjoying what she does. And, you know, if next year she's into motorcycles, then I guess we're going to do motorcycle stuff. You know, it's, um, life's an adventure and you can't close yourself off to stuff. You know, you have to, you know, like I said, jump in with both feet, but, you know, be excited about it. You know, I, I know more now about cars in the last year than the previous 35 before. Um, and, I mean, it's, it's fun, you know? Um, and it's just, yeah, I, I just, yeah, I just want her to be happy and keep learning and, you know, do what she's passionate about. What would you tell <laughs> other parents about if your child, and let's just say if your little girl shows an interest in something that may not be as traditional or just shows an interest in, in general, based on your experience with this, what, what like pros or positive things have come out of it? And then if there's any like cons to it from your perspective, what would you tell other parents? Well, um, I mean, I don't believe in gender norms or gender roles or any of that stuff anyway. So um, I think that anybody can be interested in anything and, just, you know, help your kids discover what they're into and try to make it happen for them. I mean, we homeschool, so we try to do everything we can to provide opportunities for our kids to learn about what they're interested in. And there's no doubt in my mind that she's going to end up doing something that involves cars for her career. So we're just trying to give her a head start and um, support her in any way we can. And our other daughter is into horror which I guess is probably not something that people think of girls being into either. And we do the same thing for her. We take her, um, she was in a movie that we drove four and a half hours and stayed in a hotel for her to be in. Um, and she's going to be in another one here soon. And she does sort of horror videos on YouTube. So I think, you know, whatever your kids are into, it doesn't matter if people think that they shouldn't be because of their gender, just try to support them and, provide opportunities for them. And I also think it's important to acknowledge, like we talk a lot about how um, the car scene is male dominated and sometimes we might feel unwelcome there, but that doesn't mean we're not going to go anyway. Um, 
And that's part of why we were so excited to learn about the Women's Motor Fest, because a lot of times it's 95% men, and sometimes they're intimidating, especially for a young girl to try to approach them. So this was going to be our place because it was going to be all women. And I knew that they would support her and love her. And I was just so excited leading up to it because it was like a place where I knew I didn't have to worry about how people were going to treat her. And I really appreciated that. I'm Nima Canary. I'm a seven-year-old who reviews cars. Um, and I'm a femcanic. Hey, femcanics. This is Jamie B. Thanks for listening to the preview. If you would like to listen to the complete interview, we provided two convenient links below that will link directly to this episode. These links take you to Spotify or Apple Podcasts. You can always go to your favorite podcast listening platform and search for Femcanic Garage. While you're there, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and give us a rating. It helps the podcast reach more women. And just know, we appreciate you and your support. This is Jamie B. signing off. Are you a femcanic?